show you my kit briefly. That's essentially been 24 years in the making and dreaming and three years of consistent effort to get me to this point. Right now I'm making the last comparisons, gathering the last little bits of information and purchasing the last pieces of gear to create my initial camera setup that will encompass my investment into starting my film career while teaching myself how to film in Yellowstone. And it'll be a long process then I'll obviously teach myself how to use it and then to record myself teaching myself how to use it. It's something that's very exciting, but also something that's been very exhausting. And Lord knows I'm ready to get outside and enjoy being in the field. Well, I got a little bit excited. I opened a couple packages uh, and then realized I should be recording this and realized that I'm making a story about this entire process and that would definitely include receiving the packages and setting up. I'll show you my kit briefly. journey and I feel really good about the information I've received from others and the information I've researched myself in terms of the camera package I've put together. So here we are in the winter of Montana. There's still a little bit of light left and this is the first day on the field so I'm going to go ahead and practice setting my stuff up. Today was a fun first day in the field. Uh, it's first time setting up the camera with the monitor and the entire equipment on top of the tripod. Uh, just giving it a go in the cold temperatures. And... Hopefully the audio turns out slightly okay here. This is my second day out in the field and I am practicing setting up the equipment. I was unable to go into the park due to snow and road and ice conditions. And so I stayed local in the valley and was lucky enough to find a pair of bald eagles sitting on their nest. And so I'm really excited to have this entire setup going now. This is the first time out in the field both recording myself and also having the camera focus on some wildlife. So it's a long time coming to put myself into this moment. Uh, a lot of logistics, a lot of computer research, a lot of investment of time and money. And now I finally can go out in the field and practice. And <laughs> to have a pair of bald eagles sitting on a nest is certainly um, a great way to go. Despite that it's winter, of course, and there's nothing in the nest, it is still a beautiful sight to see. It's going well so far and it's really exciting to have everything set up. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy the series, remember to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing many more amazing things along the way including staying tuned for more Behind the Lens as I'll be releasing an episode each week, and remember to share with your family and friends.